Hey, welcome back. I'm Ross with Sky Management, and today we're going to be installing a bathroom faucet. We chose a Moen Adler. Uh, we chose Moen for a couple of reasons, but most of the reason why I like it is that uh, they have a lifetime warranty on all their parts, so if it ever drips or anything and you need to get a new seal or a new cartridge or something for it, uh, Moen warranties all that for the life of the product. So let's open it up. Uh, the faucet comes with everything you're going to need to install it on your bathroom sink with the exception of the connections that go to the water shutoff. So you have to buy those separately the, depending on the length that you need. Uh, the drain assembly, uh, we'll be talking about putting that on too. Gasket that seals the bottom of the faucet. All the nuts and whatnot that you need to secure it on. The instructions, but you won't need those because that's why you're watching the video and the faucet itself. Okay, the first thing you're going to want to do is get your faucet in the holes. So this is a standard uh, three hole setup on a bathroom vanity. Uh, they pretty much all come that way unless you're getting a single hole faucet in which case uh, it'll be a custom kind of deal. Uh, your first step is going to be putting the uh, gasket that keeps it from leaking down through these holes on. Uh, it goes with this little small hole is where the stopper pole goes through, so it's toward the back. Just kind of put it on there, and it should sit right up all along the edge, so that when you stick it on there, it'll seal around the bottom. And then these are your connections that attach to the bottom of this. The shutoffs that we use around here are a 3 8 so we're using a half, a half inch to a 3 8 inch because uh, that will go to the connection to your water shutoff. Uh, the half inch side goes on the bottom of this, it connects to your faucet. The hot water is on the left side and it's the one with the tape label on it that says hot in several different languages. One thing you're going to want to check before you do it the way I'm doing it is that these connection fittings fit down through these holes. It makes it a lot easier if you can put these on before you put the faucet on. Uh, but if yours don't fit through the holes, then you'll have to put the faucet on and then put the connections on from the bottom. And I'll talk to you about that when we get down there. But you'll start by just screwing them on finger tight. These connections that we're using have a rubber gasket in them. Uh, these pre-made connections with the rubber gaskets in them don't need to use the thread tape or Teflon. They're relying on the, the rubber gasket to keep it uh, secure from leaks. Uh, if you want to put thread tape on there, you can. Uh, but to save us the mess today, I am not going to do that. You're just going to want to put them on finger tight at first because this copper line is pretty small and it can uh, bend or crimp or break if you're trying to get these on too tight without holding on to the back of them. The connection where it goes on, there's a square back to this threaded part and you can put your wrench on there. Once you get a crescent wrench on the, on the back side of that, then you can tighten these down better. And you're going to want to get them fairly tight to make sure that it doesn't leak but be sure you're holding the back side of that because if you don't hold the back side you're going to twist that copper line and break it. Once you got it nice and snug on there, get the other side. Okay, once you get your lines nice and tight, then you can feed them down through the holes, one on each side. And it should sit right there. It'll be all loose because we haven't tightened it to the bottom yet, so now we're going to go down there and do that. 
Okay, when you open the bag of the, the nuts that hold on the bottom of the faucet, there are three different kinds of pieces. There's the, the long flat pieces, the two round tubes, and the two nuts. So you're going to do one of each on each side. And this piece goes on first, then the little tube, and then the nut piece. And you'll do that on, on each side. All right, we're underneath the sink now, and uh, we're going to try to show you this the best we can. It's a little tight on the space. Uh, you got the bolts that come down through. And like I said, you're going to put the flat piece on first. And then the long tube piece goes on so that you don't have to screw on the nut as far. If you're going through a granite countertop, you may not need that that uh, tube piece. It's just kind of an extension so you don't have to screw the nut down so far. And then the nut will go on last. I know my hand's in the way. I'll move this in. I got. So once you get all three pieces on there, uh, then you can tighten it down with a wrench um, to get this nice and snug. And then you'll do the same thing on the other side. Okay, we are now moving on to the drain assembly. That's going to be this part. Uh, this will be the last thing we do. This is for the stopper valve, so you can set that part aside for now. Uh, the drain assembly, you, what you're going to need that did not come in the package is some plumber's putty. Uh, kind of like Play-Doh, but it doesn't dry out. Looks like that. Um, how this works, take the stopper out, set it off to the side. This part is the part that's going to go on top, and then this part screws on from the bottom. This rubber gasket that is on this side this is what keeps it from leaking underneath the faucet. So this is the most important part. You want to get a good seal with it. Screw this nut all the way down so that when we shove it up from the bottom, uh, we'll get a good seal. We'll show you that side from down there. The top side uh, is where you use the, the plumber's putty. What this does is when you pull the stopper, and so when the stopper is down and you're trying to keep water in the sink, it keeps it from allowing water to go around this part and down the sink so it'll help it keeps the water in the sink when you got the stopper plugged so how that works is you gotta take some plumber's putty and like your five-year-old does at home you gotta make a snake out of it Make your Play-Doh snake, and you wrap it around the top drain piece, and put the extra back in back in the cup so you can use it some other time. You got some on there. Uh, it's okay to have too much. It's just going to squish it all out the top, and you'll get it off, and then put it back in the bin when we're done. And take that piece. And you'll shove it down in there, and then we'll go underneath and screw the bottom of this part on. Okay, now we're going to put the drain tube in. This piece that comes out the back is where the actuator rod that moves the stopper up and down goes in. So when, you, when you're done screwing it on, it needs to be toward the back. So you've got to feed it up in there and screw it into that top piece that we put on just a minute ago. And then once, once it gets snug on there, kind of lift the top piece out of there a little bit and turn it to where that, that part comes out the back. Then you can snug it back down so that all the Play-Doh comes out the top. Now once that's in the back, you can tighten this part up to push this rubber gasket up against the bottom of the sink and that's what's going to keep it from leaking. You 
can usually do this with your hands. Once we get it up on there real tight, and you got everything just how you want it, you might tighten it a little bit with just with the pipe wrench to make sure that it's good and snug. Alright, I've got it on there pretty good. Now let's go ahead and put the drain stopper in. We're back up on top. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to clean off all the excess uh, plumber's putty from when we squished it all together. You can save that and use it next time. When you're putting the drain stopper in, there's two ways to do this. The way that makes it secure where you can't just pull it out by your hand is to put the loop toward the back. Then when you put the rod in, it'll go through there and it'll hold this in. Or you can just put the rod in and drop it in with the loop off to the side. And it'll still work, but you'll be able to just lift it out with your hand if you want to. Uh, the more difficult way is to secure it on there, so we'll go ahead and do it that way. We'll put the loop toward the back so that we can get it on there and show you how that works. Okay, we're going to put the stopper, actuator, rod piece into this hole in the back. And when we do that, I'm wanting to get it through the loop on the stopper. So I gotta kinda go at a downward angle to get it in the loop. And then you can look up on top and see if it's going up and down. And I've got it up and down, so it's good. I'm gonna hold that in there while you take the uh, threaded cover for this and put it on that side. Goes over the top and on there. Screw that down good and snug. And this is going to raise the stopper up and down. Now, there's two pieces that, that connect together to pull the stopper up and down. There's the long skinny one that you see from the top side, and then there's the adjustable one with all the holes in it. And that's the side for down here. So you drop the long skinny one in the hole up on top. I'll go ahead and do that first. So it comes down in there. And then the adjustable one has this bolt on the on the top. That's the top side, and it's going to slide up over that one that you dropped in from the top. And then all the holes that are in this, you'll have to pick one that works for the right distance of your drain assembly, and all the sinks are going to be different. I'll go ahead and use this third one here. Uh, when you're putting this part on, there's one more piece, and it's this little clip that holds this one in place. So, I kind of skipped it there. You put the clip on halfway, and then you put this piece on. So with the clip on there halfway, now you can put the back side of it on. You gotta pinch it together in order to shove it on there, and then it keeps this piece from moving. Okay, now that you've got your bottom side piece in there, the last thing you gotta do is tighten this little nut on the top, and you're gonna wanna do that when the drain is in the down position. So push this part all the way down. That pushes the stopper up up there, and then that's when you want to tighten this bolt. And you'll need to do it with a wrench. So I, I snugged it up with my fingers, and now take a wrench and tighten that, that bolt, and you're all done with your drain assembly. That was an install of a Moen Adler faucet on a bathroom vanity. Uh, Thanks for watching our video. If you found this helpful, like and subscribe below.